Hello everyone, welcome to this Dash Plotly tutorial in which we will start off simple on how to display a table through Dash. So first of all, what is Dash and Plotly? They are developed by this company called Plotly, uh, so the same name basically, but they are also open source. So the, the enterprise side of things are just hosting. Dash and Plotly allows you to develop applications, special web applications using Python, R, and Julia. Uh, we will be using Python during this tutorial, but in case you like some other language, you can also use that as well. And the focus of, of Dash and Plotly is to be able to facilitate your entry point to develop web applications for machine learning, natural language processing, forecasting, or any kind of advanced analytics that you may want. So in this course and in these tutorial videos, what we'll be discussing is how to use Dash and Plotly for visual analytics. So first of all, what you'll need to do this tutorial, you'll need Python. I'm using the latest version as of this video, which is uh, 2.8 or 3.8.3. Uh, I will use PyCharm. You may use some other kind of ID or text-based editor if you'd like. And from here, we'll also install Dash and Plotly. Also, so you have a notion in dash.plotly.com, which is a documentation website for Dash and Plotly. You can come to Dash App Gallery, which is like just a showcase of what you can do with Dash and Plotly. For example, this network oil and gas is able to show some bar charts and line charts, donut charts and maps. Uh, they are fully interactable, selectable, filterable, and all the interfaces synchronized so that if you change something in one part of the interface, you'll see a response on another. Another example is uh, this manufacturing dashboard, which you are also able to select parameters and you'll, you are also able to see changes over time. Just click start and we'll start popping out, say, readings from sensor data or maybe from stock market or I don't know, depending on your application, this will be a different thing. So going back to Dash, Let's go to Dash Tutorial Installation. You, after you install Python and also PyCharm or some other IDE, make sure also to install Dash like this. Here in my PyCharm, I already have everything installed. And if you want to check the code, there will be a link in the description below to go to GitHub and check all the code that I'm going to do in this and also future tutorials as well. So if you see here in my requirements.txt, these are my proper requirements. I actually didn't install all by hand. I just actually installed pandas and dash bootstrap components and dash itself. These are going to be the three main ones, uh, or you can just use pip install dash r requirements in case you are cloning the Git repository. If you are also in PyCharm, just notice that something else that I did is I went here into settings and into interpreter. Project interpreter. And I also made sure to add a new virtual environment interpreter for myself. So this is why I have a VN over here in my project. I will be using the same virtual environment for all the tutorial videos of this series. And to start off, going back here, I'll just copy the code from the data table section. So if you search here for data table, so data table, just go here to reference there will be the full documentation of a, what is a dash table you can understand a dash table more or less as implementing microsoft excel or google spreadsheets in the web we'll be using this extensively to, during our tutorial so if i come here to data table overview 
there is a quick start I'll just copy paste this into my so if you just copy paste into I'm I just made a folder called quick start it will be in the link which is in the description below so I just copy pasted this here I can right click and run my app once I run it notice that my debug equals true which means if I change anything here and save Control S or Command S you'll notice the the change instantly is updated in your web server and the link to your web server is this one localhost or 127001 in this port which is the default port for dash you can also change typing here port and if you go here now you can see exactly that specific table this table is being read from pandas as you can see here and is being shown as a dash table there are many other options that we'll go through over here but another quick start that I'm going to show here I'll just copy paste this copy paste and I'll say this one will be app bootstrap and here we'll go we'll do a quick start if you want to use bootstrap in your web application so going make maybe to Google or you can search dash bootstrap and just come here you'll notice that dash is able to connect to bootstrap which is a very nice to have layout and UI section of your website which just allows you to make beautiful things out of the box so let's use this um, bootstrap quick start just copy paste over here save and there's something missing strange here the, there's a comma missing from here I wonder why but that's fine if you then right click and run it I need actually to stop my previous previous web server okay so now it's running you'll notice that it also uh, cached in some other dependencies and you'll see here the bootstrap container using an alert and for this video this will be all next video we'll check on how to load our own pandas data set filter it and show it in a data table so see you next time